Hey guys, my name is Katana of Team Ghost Stops, and I am here with a review of ATAX FG. Yes, I have used these for three or four airsoft games now, so that's about three or four months if I play one airsoft game a month. And and I am I believe I am ready to make this review. Um, I am not a camo expert or anything, so just. Um, Bear with me if sometimes I don't make any sense. This is just my own opinion as well. It's not a professional review, so um, if you might, might not agree with me. I know there are Atex fans out there. There's Crytek um, multicam fans. There's ACU fans, whatever. Um, not a big deal. This is just my personal opinion and review of Atex FG. So let's get right into it. So a little bit of background, um, ATAX is a company that focus on, focuses on something called pattern within a pattern. This creates something called an organic pattern. Organic patterns um, that, if, uh, that ATAX develops is going to be kind of muddy looking, kind of, uh, it's a really soft to the eyes, nothing really stands out. and. Um, and when you compare it to say ACUs, well, I mean uh, UCPs or even multicam, this um, the pattern is really soft. What I mean by soft is you can see here on this combat shirt that all the colors mesh. And since the idea is when all the colors mesh, um, it creates something that's organic looking that's natural and that is really hard to see overall from a great distance. The organic pattern it was meant to solve the problem behind the UCP's uh, blur effect in the back, uh, blur effect at long distances with UCP's or anything of that blocky or shape. You do from distances you do see a more rigid shape. Um, um, Again, in the distances, so it's it's kind of hard to explain. Um, I don't completely understand it, but um, yeah. Um, other um, other things to note about ATAX is that they are a new and upcoming upcoming company. They only have two camos right now, uh, AUs and FGs. So yeah, this. Okay, so let's get started um, with my own personal stuff. On the right here is going to be the trousers, and on the left is going to be the combat shirt. Um, now, first thing you're going to notice is, of course, the fading. Um, the, my camera is going to make it seem a bit worse, but the fading is not um, as bad as it seems. However, you it is semi-noticeable. On the and it's one of my gripes about a proper. Um, the proper a uh, proper making the ATAX. Um, besides the uh, NIR uh, non-compliancy, uh, which isn't a big deal, I'll explain that later. The fading is my biggest gripe. The fading, um, like such as the combat shirt here, the combat shirt on the uh, on the left is only about the one or two months old, so two or three games. The one um, the trousers on the right is about three or four games and uh, it's been through the wash every, each one of them goes through the wash every game and you can see the difference I use the same detergent for the past six years so don't even blame it on that it's just that it fades and it's in all honesty it's not a super big deal however I'd prefer something that's more consistent um, I believe that the fading stopped I've thrown it in the wash about three or four more times to see if it would just see if any color would uh, come out um, even my, uh, I threw my, um, my top fatigues over, uh, top fatigues into the wash, nothing else came out, so I think, yeah, it's, it's nothing too horrendous, again, the camera makes it a bit worse, but the fading is about, uh, is going from dark gray to semi-dark gray, whoop de doo it still works, um, getting into the, what I mentioned earlier, the NIR compliancy, the um, that is pretty much um, infrared detection. 
So um, that's usually uh, it's usually solved by using a special fabric that I'm pretty sure that ATAX will pick up if they um, are being looked at by the military. Again, ATAX is new, so they're gonna start out they're gonna start out establishing their base first and worrying about other stuff later. So um, the positive size to ATAX FG is gonna be it's lighter. Uh, Poly, the poly cotton fabric it is lighter. It is, I personally think, it's a bit softer to the skin. It's it's actually really comfortable. Um, after an airsoft game, I just sit there on a computer or on uh, my Xbox, and yeah, it feels great. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it feels absolutely awesome. I prefer this over my jeans sometimes. Um, to here. For the pants, it does come with a ton of uh, cargo options, including what I really like is the knee pad inserts, the internal knee pad inserts. They are absolutely great. I'd recommend getting one, uh, getting a few. I personally have the 511 knee pad inserts, and you can use whatever, but um, I think that's a really awesome step. The, let's see here. Um, adjustability for all of them are pretty good. Then um, I have the combat shirt here, and I really like how proper made the combat shirt. So the center is camoed. I really like that. And so let's get into the pattern itself. I my opinion about the Atex pattern is that it is good, but it is way too specialized. I personally think that the um, that the ATAX pattern um, is only as is only super effective and is probably one of the more effective uh, patterns out there um, if it's in its in its environment, such as the AU being in the desert or anything brown, and the uh, FGs being in well the forest and timber area. The plus area that I play in is a mixture of brown and green, and I somewhat struggle in the brown area. Um, however, it's not anything horrendous. I'm not. I'm not like this bright green beacon of a light, but um, it is still noticeable if you are if you are looking for the Atex FG color. So that's one of the pros and one of the cons, I guess. However. Overall, I think it's a great camo. For anything completely green, I'd go a Tex hands down. I personally think it's one of the most effective camos out there, but I'm not an Atex fan because I'm going to say this. If you are on a budget but you want to spend uh, money on either multicam or Atex or any of the higher pricing cams out there, I definitely go multicam or anything similar. Multicam is one battle proven, and two, it has a mixture of green and brown that really works well in multiple environments, and it, on in all honesty, is on the same level, if not higher, than ATAX. ATAX will beat it out in say its specific colored area. However, it's not going to beat out multicam when you're going from green to brown, then brown to green really fast, really rapidly. The multicam will, uh, multicam does not have the organic pattern, so I'll give it that I'll give um Atax that and I really like how Atax is going with that quote organic pattern and it's I personally think the organic pattern is the next step in um yeah, in uh concealment. Um and honestly if you're gonna get ATAX, you might as well start trying to build a Star Wars kit, I guess. A Star Wars Rebel kit, because it is absolutely very close to Star Wars. Um, yeah, it's, it's, wow. I'm pretty sure that they were influenced somehow. So, overall, I'll give it four out of five stars. It could use some work. Um, they could make it NRI. NIR compliant. Not a big deal in Airsoft though. Real Steel will be. Um, I wish it wasn't so specialized. I hope ATAX is working on something a bit more universal. A bit. Um, I don't. I don't mind paying the price 
for something universal such as multicam or anything like that. And when I say universal, by the way, I'm not talking about completely universal. I'm just saying it'll work in most areas decently well. So this is Katana uh, from Team Ghost Ops. Um, remember to subscribe, like our video, check it out. Yep, awesome. Thanks for watching.